fucking creature. I happen to be start off human, so I'm of the human realm, Warlocks. And these are going to be some clues, if I can probably think appropriately, it'd be good, but uh, to how I feel I was insured you're a Warlock. And uh, maybe I should just start off with the juicy fucking shit, okay? And one of them was, and I apologize, I was going to do a dark video, I, you know, I, I look like shit in the dark, but it's okay. I look like the shit in the light sometimes, so that's okay. Um, but to find out you're a fucking warlock, certain things will take place, and one of them to start off with will be things will happen and uh, in your life that are a lot of them will be paranormal. You'll seem to almost pull in uh, paranormal energy and events such as UFO sightings and stuff like that. This this could be a clue that you are on your way to being a warlock. Doesn't mean you will be, but based on that, but no, it, it's a clue uh, that you could potentially be a warlock. Doesn't mean you will be. Uh, you have to, you have to, maybe every, I've always said, and it's my intuition speaking, anyone can become a warlock, but the transition problem is what they don't get, they don't understand. And that is you already are transformed while you're a human into a warlock so that's number one but the clues uh one time i was in an apartment and uh, i was trying to sleep and i remember that all of a sudden i i felt like i was heated up from the inside out like a microwave um so immediately <clears throat> i i woke up you know, out of my sleep, whatever fucking sleep, how deep it was or whatever. I woke up right away, and when I woke up, I could still tell I was hot as fuck, but it was already cooling off. Whatever it was, it was already turned off and cooling off by the time I shot up in bed. So it was like a microsecond of intense heat. <clears throat> I'm not sure if it would have gone any further, if it would have killed off all the bacteria in my body or what the fuck, I would have died or what. But I can tell you right now, I knew. That was not, you know, wasn't me necessarily, I don't think, that did it. It was uh, one of the extraterrestrial humans. Um, they were they were waking me for a reason. I'm not sure why. And maybe they had an agenda. I don't know. All I know is I said, when I woke up, I said, don't do that again, whatever you do. And when I said that, they didn't try it again. That was a clue to me that somebody was either told to stand down, don't fuck with them no more, don't test them no more, or they did it on their own for out of fear because I'm a fucking warlock. Now, when I was growing up, I just tried to, you know, brush it under the carpet. No, no, that didn't happen. That didn't happen. Okay. All right, so another time I'm in an apartment and I drop a coffee cup, a giant mug. Now, this was all me, guys. I guarantee at first I didn't know what was going on because I was in my early stages of being let know, hey, for sure, you're a fucking warlock, bitch. So I didn't know. These other warlocks were trying to let me know. They're my superiors. I take advice from them. I'm only allowed to do magic by conducting linear time augmentation at night while I sleep. I'm not really allowed to do anything during the day, but it does happen from time to time, especially a warlock that's surprised. Okay, so what happened was I grabbed a giant mug. It was about that big. It was humongous. It was one of those soup kind of coffee cups. You know, it was heavy too. Anyway, I, dro I dropped it. When I picked it up, I dropped the fucking thing. And it, it, it started falling right away. And it was just going straight down like things do from gravity. 
And as it did, uh, I immediately noticed all of a sudden my cat had ran between my legs and was now underneath the fucking coffee cup in front of me. So I was panicked for, for a, a very short split second, or if you even want to call it a quarter of a split second. And immediately the cup stopped right above the cat's head, about, mm, about that far above the cat's head. And, and the cup, though, continued to spin like it was when it was falling. It was spinning when it was falling. But it continued like it was in zero G. And instead of making the cup stop altogether, it just stopped it in the air. That was me. Because I was trying to prevent it from hitting my fucking cat. Now, I didn't know at the time, because back then, uh, I don't think it was the time. It wasn't the time to, for anointment, if you will, into the uh, gifted ways of the warlock. So I really, uh, but I also, like I said, had a habit of pushing these events under the rug and just trying to, you know, this, that, or the other. A long time, I believed that was an angel that did that, but I actually I believe it was me now because... It wasn't long after that I had a message that said that was no, uh, this was all you, bro, kind of thing. I don't know. It was just like it said, bro, that was not a fucking angel. That was all you. And when I heard that, I was like, really? I mean, I literally commented, like, really? So, I mean, I was like, okay, okay. So, but that was one of the main clues. And another time, this lady, and she hated my fucking guts, guys. This lady hated my... A lot of women hate my guts because witches can't be as strong as warlocks. They, when they get that and they figure that shit out, they're appalled that they can't outdo you because you're male. Mm -hmm. They're fucking appalled because they think, you know, everything uh, godly is uh, somehow or another going to end up being in the feminine district. No, it ain't. Okay? No, it ain't. So anyway... Uh, I would, she hated me, and I, I, I forget the reasons why, because I was probably, uh, back then, I forget, I don't know what, maybe I cussed her out in a, a fucking, you know, walking across the street one day, because I get like that, and I had another, I had two ladies that hated me, anyway, this uh, one lady, uh, and, you know, I like women, so, but they were ugly bitches, old and ugly, but anyway, this lady, she stomped on her gas, and I didn't even know she was behind me, and uh, was going to attempt to run me over, Okay, uh, but uh, first thing I did was I prevented the vehicle from moving, even though she stopped. And I wasn't even facing her yet. I'm a warlock. Okay, the vehicle was spinning in place. She couldn't get it to move because of me. She was going to turn the corner and run me over, but she couldn't get the vehicle to move. So I let the vehicle move. All right, guys. When the vehicle started to move, then she started to try to speed towards me. And then all I did was, I, like a cop would do, I kind of like did a, a thing where I hit the back of the vehicle with my powers. And she fishtailed into a wall, got out and stared at me with the blankest white blood drawn from her face look I ever fucking saw. Because she knew straight up what happened. I prevented it. So that was one of the main clues where I knew uh, I have that psychic kinetic energy capability. <sighs> some other times, some people came at me in a uh, indirect way. At first, it was sociological. Then it became behaviorally uh, more modified towards injuring me. So what happened? Oh, I don't know. They kind of like died of a heart attack the next day. Um. You know, aneurysms, heart attacks, very popular. The government has sent people in my area before that didn't return. Okay? They usually don't even get fucking out the building, but sometimes I let them travel all the way over here to fuck with me. Now, it doesn't mean I'm untouchable at any speck of, of word. And see, I actually am allowed to mess with certain things, but not others. And then guaranteed of uh, extending my life is not. Okay, a warlock actually does not always protect himself. A warlock can get caught off guard like a human. A warlock can die from bullet wounds. A warlock, but the thing is, a warlock is only physically dead. He's immediately transported into another vessel, the ultimate safe house, guys. Okay? So if I was to die, I'd already be a, in another body somewhere, and it would be immediate. And uh, not likely it would go in the form of a baby to grow up and be another warlock. No, it's, it's more likely that it just transfers into another living 
what they call, I don't know why they call it that, but they call it the stretcher. And that is, uh, what it does is it brings your longevity of life past norms. But that's what they call it, my, my higher up warlocks, they call it the stretcher. So uh, I don't know. So I, I learned that and I was like, okay, so, but they always explain to me, no, you, you still will die like a human. When somebody comes in and, you know, it doesn't mean you'll always be able to control that. Usually that happens when you're surprised and caught off guard that your magic is actually affected to prevent your life from being lost. If you're caught off guard, likely you'll do that and we forgive you for those because that's like a reaction. You cannot prevent a reactionary function. If you were to have a weapon on you and something was attacking you, what are you going to do? Drop, let's say, uh, the gun or the knife? No, you're going to fucking keep it in your hand, bro. Anyway.